If you've been on YouTube at all over the past few months, you undoubtedly know about the existence of YouTube Shorts. However, it has become very clear and apparent that YouTube Shorts is very easy for anybody at all to use to grow their channel and become successful. However, I have also noticed that the amount of effort and creativity that has gone into a lot of YouTube Shorts has gone down dramatically. Whether it's just reposting clips from shows and movies, to just reposting clips of other creators, the effort that goes into posting YouTube Shorts is lower than ever. But I want to know how easy is it to use YouTube Shorts to grow? How, how little effort can you actually put in and still get a lot of views and subscribers? So I decided to see how little effort I could put in and actually have somewhat success. What exactly do I plan on doing and how am I going to conduct this experiment? Well, first things first, we're going to need some shorts. So I took three of my most popular videos and cut them into 60 second segments, which was actually really easy. All I had to do was open up a Premiere Pro project, make sure it was in a vertical aspect ratio, and then go to 60 seconds, cut in and out point, export, delete, move video, repeat. So it was actually very easy. I would say the only hard part that there was, was, um, uploading each video one by one and then giving them a title but even that wasn't that hard i really put little little effort into this so now that we have all of the videos uploaded i decided that i'm going to schedule them so i don't have to make them public at certain times so i decided to make two videos go public each day for like the next two and a half weeks ish and from that point i, I took my hands off I, I let the schwartz do their thing i let them go out into people's algorithms which by the way the algorithm is kind of bullshit okay like it's just people are always trying to like make it a complicated thing figure out what's going to work in the algorithm you got to get the right words and stuff to me it's simple when somebody views a video and they like it and they hit the like button, the algorithm is like, oh, somebody likes this. And then they'll try and recommend it to somebody else that's gonna like it. It's it's so simple and I don't get why so many creators make it more complicated than it needs to be. Or maybe I'm just stupid. So the first week went by and I'll be honest, it was it went really it went really well, in my opinion. Compared to the views and stuff that I've gotten on my channel, it is miles ahead and it is so much more successful than my channel. And uh, it's kind of heartbreaking in a way, I'll be completely honest. But you know, it went pretty well. Here's some here's some stats that uh, are important to note. Throughout this entire first week, which happened two weeks ago or something like that, throughout the entire first week, I, I can't believe this number is real. There were a total of 4,568 views. That's like my top three videos combined, and it's still more, which is crazy to me, you know? Just from shitty shorts that are just so low effort. I didn't even, I didn't even try. I, I mean, here's the thing about this, and I'll be honest, you know, I did put low effort into this, but you could say that I put some effort into it when I actually originally edited these videos, but I feel like that doesn't count, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, the most viewed short got 439 views, which is significantly less, but you know, it still adds up to the total. The most liked short was the first short. Kind of surprising, I thought it would like take time and like, each one would do better and then one would be more liked than like the last one or something like that. It would be like random, but no, it's just the first one. And there were a total of four subscribers gained. Four subscribers. So I guess people just don't really like to subscribe through shorts. Well, week two started off with a bang. And when I say with the bang, you know, you would probably think like, oh, you got a lot of views and subscribers. No, a bang in a way that I was very surprised by what happened. The first like 
five or six ish TikToks got little to no views slash engagement. I, and when I say little to no, I mean basically zero views, zero likes, zero subscribers, zero anything. Which shocked me because the week before um, went very well and the first short that I uploaded was the most viewed short. So, you know, I've just been trying to think of, of um, how that makes sense and um, I can't I can't put it together it just doesn't make sense to me but I'll get I'll get to the stats I guess um, the total views that this channel has gotten through these two and a half weeks and this is the final week by the way I forgot to mention that this is the last the last week of shorts that were uploaded so the total views that the channel got was 7.7 7 thousand 7.7 7 thousand views so you know a bit of a drop a bit of a 1,000 view, 1,000 view drop. The most viewed short was, uh, unlike the first week, the eight short. And if you guys want to see these most viewed shorts, here they are. The entire mini pool to go in. I know it's gonna flow. Look at that, dude. That is sick. Okay, so before I get into the pool, I have these weights. That's how we're gonna test how much this thing can hold. We'll do 20. So yeah, as you can see, I did no editing to center the action into the vertical frame. I literally just zoomed it in. The most liked short was a tie between like two or three, but I don't remember if the third one was the first week, so I just didn't add it. Anyway, the most liked shorts where people got mad at me for this three like these are fucking movies or something <laughs> and pool in a pool eight they both got nine likes so they tied a solid tie and the total subscribers gained through these two and a half weeks was 11 subscribers 11 subscribers. You could say it was a success in that matter, but 11 subscribers is definitely a lot less than I thought these were going to get. You know, I don't know what I I thought I would learn from this or prove. I, I really went into this with just the idea, how much can a channel grow from just uploading shorts every day for like a few weeks? I didn't have any idea of what I could make it about, you know? I guess you could interpret it as, here, we're gonna get, uh, philosophical the content that people are consuming short-term content specifically the quality of these videos i would say over the past two to three years has dramatically dropped um especially with brain rock content there's a lot more of that these days and you could say that this content is ruining content creation as a whole because people are just doing whatever can get them views. However, I will say that has been the name in the game of YouTube for over 10 years. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt or what you will or whatever that uh, idiom is or some shit. But yeah, no, overall, this, um, it went well. I got a lot of views, more views than I've ever seen. And in a way that kind of hurts me, you know, I'll be completely honest. The amount of views that I got compared to this channel, it, it kind of hurt because there's a lot of videos that I actually like care about and put effort into and they get so little views, so little engagement, you know, nobody cares. And this, I just, zoomed in one of my videos into a vertical frame and it got more views than my entire channel so you know that kind of sucks that kind of sucks for me but i think this i think this was an interesting experiment i i really do i think you know there's a lot to be learned i don't know Bye. so now at this point about two and a half weeks have gone by and there are no more shorts that are scheduled to go public and to be viewed the experiment's over and honestly it kind of went as well as i thought it would i still am really surprised at how many views these shorts actually got but yeah that's basically it for this experiment i mean i think it went pretty well and um you know I really did put close to zero effort into this. So take what you will from this experiment. You know, you can interpret it in multiple ways. Like, you know, the quality of content that we're consuming is dramatically dropping. For example, here's a brain rock video. Back. I was in Ohio before I met you. I so much, not an issue, but 
can Tell your friends it was not serious that I put out on every edge you can I think about 10 seconds just passed and it felt like 3 minutes um, My generation, we're fucked, okay? Like, we'll be, I'll be honest, Gen Z, we're, we're totally screwed We've spent way too much time on TikTok But, you know, honestly, the next generation is even more fucked, you know? They're watching like two, three hour long videos that are that fucking brain rotted. Like, the world is going to crash and burn in like two and a half years. I wanna make it clear though that I'm not trying to bash anybody that's like using YouTube Shorts to grow their channels because it is a great tool to do that. Um, I'm just saying that a lot of people are just re-uploading TV show and movie clips and getting a shit ton of views and subscribers and then their channels get monetized. It's like a really easy way just to, in a way, it's an easy way to make money off of other people's work. So, I, I don't know, I just think that this was an interesting experiment and, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm kind of upset that that channel has more views than mine. So, that... I mean, that, that sucks.